Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the best, some of my favorite denim shorts that I have found, especially if you have a longer torso. I am five five and a half. We can really go with five six. So let's just go with five six. I'm five six feet tall. I have a little bit of a longer torso, which I've definitely noticed. It can be a little bit trickier when you're buying shorts, especially if you want high waisted shorts. There are a few high-waisted shorts that pretty much come up to my belly button and that's it. So you do kind of need to pay attention to the inseam and the length of the rise as well. My legs are obviously a little bit shorter if I have a longer torso, but they're not too short. Like I can throw on a pair of heels, which is probably why I like wearing heels so much. And then it kind of evens everything out. So that's my trick always with heels. We're just going to go right ahead in with this video about the shorts. And the first ones I'm going to talk about are pretty much my first favorite pair that I bought. And they're from Levi's. I can't even tell you what design of Levi's pair of shorts these are. I got them a while ago, maybe four years ago, at Urban Outfitters. They're the perfect beach shorts that I always grab these to go to the beach. Probably because it does make my legs look a lot longer because they're shorter. Um, my only thing with this when I first got them is that they were supposed to be high-waisted. At least that's what the tag said on it. But it still came up to my belly button. And I kind of like something a little bit higher than that. And I find that as time goes by, high-waisted is starting to get a little bit more high-waisted to a comfort that I like. What I can tell you about these shorts is that they're in a size 27. They fit me perfectly. You kind of have to be careful when buying a pair of Levi's, especially if you're buying online. And I say that because one 27 might not fit the same as another 27. They're kind of like the Converse shoes. So I do recommend that you go into a place and try them on. Urban Outfitters has so many different styles of Levi's jeans and the shorts. I'm sure they have crazy sales going on right now. I kind of wish I did this more towards the beginning of the summer, but I did find another pair that I loved. So I kind of wanted to get a collection going before I told you guys my personal favorites anyways. Now there are a lot of thrift stores, especially at the Kensington market that have so many old school Levi jeans. And again, denim shorts that you guys should definitely go and check out. And I find that with Levi jeans, the more they've been worn, the better they fit. There isn't stretch in them at all. So even when you wash them and you put them on, they fit perfect. And after a couple wears, they do kind of start to stretch out a bit. And you definitely have to wash them in order to get that like size back. I also recently found out that Levi jeans aren't as eco-friendly as they can be. So if you can find some at thrift stores, definitely go with that. But I did still have to mention them because they are one of my favorites. And of course, one of the first favorites that I've ever bought in. I like the little detail of the button up here. I think that that's really cute. Although when you do have them all buttoned up, it has this little extra flap right there. So it kind of covers it, but I like it. It holds you in a lot better than a zipper, especially after you wash them and they're a lot more snug. Again, I love how distressed they are. I love the little fringe. It's got more on one leg than the other one. The other one kind of rolls up, but that's the uniqueness that all of the Levi denim shorts have because these are a lighter wash it makes you look a lot more tan they're very comfortable they're very durable and i'm not sure if it's just because it has no stretch in it that makes it just a lot more tough and i've had these for years and i'm sure they're not going to be going anywhere and that's the thing that i've noticed with better quality denim shorts or just jeans in general as pricey as some of them can be i try not to go over 100 because then it's kind of pushing it but a good pair is gonna cost you a pretty penny. They are a little bit short. It still covers the cheek, but if you're going up the stairs, people can definitely get a glimpse of your cake. And because these are a lot lower, like right on the belly button or just below, I tend to wear baggier tops with it, a tank top, sweatshirt, anything like that, because if I wear a bodysuit with it, because it's so low, it just fits a little funny, especially on my body. I don't know if it's just because I have the shorter legs, some people can pull it off, but for me personally, I like to wear a baggier top with these specific jeans. Another little thing that I wanted to mention is that if you get them from a thrift shop, they probably won't have that leather logo stitching right at the back because it's been worn so much. So that's another bonus. Now onto the next pair that I'll be talking about. I got them maybe two months ago. They're from Aritzia. They're from Denim Forum. 
They're these ones right here, which is more of like a natural denim color. Not too light, but not too dark. It's a little longer on the leg as well, so I could definitely dress these up a little more. And they definitely do go a little bit higher on the torso, which I really like. I went to the Aritzia at the Dawn Mills shops because everything, it's kind of like an outlet. You can just go right in. As long as you're wearing a mask, they were one of the first to open up. So definitely went shopping and checked it out. They have a great selection of denim shorts and good quality shorts too. So for the price of them, they're not bad at all. These are the Arlo shorts. They're in a size 29. I'm usually a 27, 28 max. They didn't have a 28. This was the only size that they actually had. They were luckily letting people go into the fitting rooms. I tried on the 29, which are these ones, and they fit perfectly. These ones for sure do have a little bit more of a stretch on them. I like that they go really snug on the waist. They are a little higher, so I can wear them with fitted tops, body suits, crop tops, anything like that, and I don't feel like I'm so overexposed. And even though it does have that little bit of a fringe at the bottom, it still kind of makes it have that little bit of an edge, but can still dress them up as they're not as distressed as the other pair of shorts that I showed you. So very comfortable, very stretchy, and even though I had to go in a size up, which fit great, they don't stretch to the point where I need to throw them in the washer like the Levi's ones in order for them to fit my body like they did at the beginning. These ones are definitely one of my favorites. I've been wearing them so much. I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen them on my posts, you've seen them on my stories. I feel like it's all I ever wear now. But highly, highly recommend the denim forum jeans at Aritzia. And again, these are the Arlo short. Now I have another two pair of shorts that I'm gonna be talking about. And the next two are both from Abercrombie and Fitch. I used to buy jeans there a long time ago. I don't know why I ever stopped shopping there. They have great quality denim at great price points and they have amazing denim shorts. I think about three weeks ago, it'll be a month by the time you guys see this, I went in and grabbed these pair of shorts. These are a lot more distressed. They're perfect for the beach and just more of a casual wear. Again, high-waisted. These ones I got in a size 28. They look a little stiff now because they just dried up. Gabriel washed them maybe yesterday or a few days ago and we left them drying. That's another tip for denim. I try not to put my denim shorts or my jeans inside of the dryer. Once you put them on, they'll start to feel a lot more comfortable. They'll give and loosen up a little more. And that's just a really big tip that I have that I've been doing forever so that your jeans last a lot longer. So these are in a size 28. They're a high rise four inch short. Again, they're not too short where it shows the booty. It covers just enough. I love the length of it. I'm not quite sure if it's just because I'm like in my mid thirties now. I'm just a lot more cautious of the length of my shorts that I buy now. But these ones I've been rocking to the beach like every weekend. I love the distress on them. When I first saw them, I thought maybe this is a little too much for me, but they're actually perfect once you try them on. They fit very comfortable. Again, they go up very high-waisted. I do like the high-rise at Abercrombie. They are a true high-rise, as you can see. What I also really like about these shorts is that it goes a lot fuller at the back and then at the front, it has more of that distress where it comes up a little more and it shows just a little bit more of your leg. I think that's a cute little detail that they added to it. And again, I like that there's no leather patch at the back. Although Abercrombie & Fitch does a really good job at the faux leather. Again, as you can see, the back pockets, also a little bit of distress and really cute. They fit really well. And again, I've been wearing them like every single time I go to the beach, which has been pretty much every weekend. I live in Toronto, Canada, where we just opened phase three. And although in Toronto, things have been very strict with the quarantine and all of that outside of the GTA, which is outside of Toronto, where we go, we drive really far to go to the beach. It's a lot less people and we just feel a lot more comfortable going outside. So if you're curious as to why I'm saying I go to the beach like every weekend is because we drive way, way further out. Definitely need to keep hydrated. I haven't been drinking any water at work. My lips have gotten so chapped to the point where I started peeling them and I got a little bit of a scab. So, so hot in here too because I don't have the fan on or the windows open to make any noise, but we'll get through this. Just one more pair of shorts. And the last pair of shorts that I have, I'm actually wearing them right now. They're not blue. They're actually white. They're super cute. They're very high-waisted. As you can see, they fit like that. Maybe I'll take them off so that I can talk a little bit more about them. All right, here they are. I took them off so I can show you guys like this and then I'll try them back on so that you guys can see what they look like on. 
There's a mirror back there. I hope you guys can't see my butt. I had pretty much given up on white denim shorts. And I say that because one, they can be very see-through. Two, I wanted something high-waisted, very high-waisted. And it's hard to find, especially if you have a long torso. So if you do struggle with that, like me, go check out Abercrombie & Fitch or the Aritzia ones, the Denim Forum. They're really good with the whole high-waisted thing. These ones are a little bit different than the other ones that I showed you. Obviously not as distressed as the other ones. They do kind of flare out a little bit, which almost kind of feels and looks like you're wearing a skirt, but they're a short. And although they do give a lot more space at the leg with the flaring out and everything, it will snatch you right at the waist it's perfect i can eat as much as i want whenever i go out wearing them and i feel like there's no rollitos coming out so again these ones are in a size 28 they're the curve love which makes them really tight at the waist and then kind of flare out a little bit not super tight where you can't breathe but they're just perfect these ones are the ultra high rise mom short and i love these i wore them last week i'm wearing them again today i think it makes the look look super chic especially if i was to throw on a pair of heels today i wore them a lot casual because i went to a flea market i'm kind of shopping around i still have to hit up a walmart so with my slides it's perfect and again because they are so high waisted a little longer on the leg again you can't see any cachetes coming out from the back so it's cachete proof 100 percent i said so very comfortable but still feel very chic wearing them especially with this tank that i'm wearing it's a little looser i can do a little knot on it and kind of wear it a little bit more cropped and it looks fine I can tuck it in and pull the shirt from the bottom so that it kind of looks like a bodysuit super fitted and it looks great and that's the reason why I like to have the high-waisted jeans it just looks a lot more structured with my body it makes my legs look longer I just feel a lot more put together I feel confident that I can go on and eat if I start to get bloated if I eat a little something that has wheat in it and I bloat up I'm cool. My jeans are holding me back. And these ones aren't as stretchy as the other Abercrombie & Fitch shorts that I showed you, but they do have a little bit of a stretch. So it has a lot more structure and I really like it. Like you see that? No stretch. And that's it. Those are my favorite denim shorts that I've purchased today. I thought I would share with you guys in case you have that same issue as I do with the long torso. I can't stand when I see something online that says high waisted and then when I get it, it's like at my belly button. That's not very high waisted. I want it to come up. I want it to come up to like my rib cage and snatch me up and make me feel... I don't even know how to explain it. You know, you know what I'm saying though? I hope that this video helps you out on trying to figure out where you can buy denim shorts when you have an issue like that. Not that it's an issue, but it can just be very annoying trying to find jeans or shorts that just look the best on you. I think my next move will be to buy a pair of black ones. I don't know if I'll do it this summer. I think we only have like one month left. I can't believe we're already in August. So for now, maybe I'll just stick to these ones. Um, but eventually I do want to get a pair of black denim shorts. I have heard that the Igoldi jeans and denim shorts are great and they're super high-waisted. So those are maybe a pair that I will check out soon. Those are a little bit pricier, but like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, sometimes you do have to spend a pretty penny for good quality denim. I'm someone that has bought jeans and shorts at H&M, at Old Navy, at Zara, and although they're great and sometimes can be very good quality for like the summer or two years, after that, they kind of start to lose their shape the whole structure and they just don't fit as nice anymore so that's what i mean about spending a little bit more for good quality denim i think this video might be already too long hopefully i can edit it where it's about 10 minutes or a little bit over that and not too much i really hope that you enjoyed it don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys at the next one bye babe can you come take photos No, you're not, babe. <laughs>